OK, welcome back to the cafe. We'll head along to the Mastercraft kitchen shortly to check in with Mark's barbecue fish and noodle salad recipe. And this morning, though, Hamish is joining us and he's got a very special guest. He's brought a lady today, Karen Siddell from the Tile Depot to show us the latest trends in tiles for 2017. And I am impressed so far. Welcome, by the way. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's lovely to have you in here. So tell me about these ones first that we've got on the bench here. Obviously, marble is a thing. Is it on trend at the moment? Very much on trend and natural looking is on trend. So we've got marble looks, timber looks really dominating the market at the moment. So you've basically just put all your favourite bits in? Very much so. This is this is my absolute favourite, our, our legend. It's actually a porcelain tile. See, this, so. this absolutely blows me away because I thought you had bought a log of wood and I went, why are you bringing wood in? You're the tile depot. The <laughs> so, whatsoever. so it's a total wood look. So where would you use something like this? It's, it's There's no limitations as where you can't put it. So we can put that from one end of the house to the other. Floor, wall, so why would you Wet put it, areas. say, something like, so I guess you could use it in your bathroom because it's tile, but why would you put it in your lounge room over a wooden floor? Well, it just lasts, so it doesn't stain, doesn't scratch, doesn't fade. It's going to look like that this time next year, the year after. And you can steam mop it. Yeah. Oh, who doesn't Which have a good I, steam I know mop? that sounds a little bit <laughs> odd, but I get asked all the time, can I put a laminate floor down? Can I steam mop it? No. Can you steam bamboo floors? No. Can you steam mop tile? Yes. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> very hard wearing, very, very durable. So if you've got young kids running around and they've got toys coming in and out, animals, it's going yeah. to withstand all of that. Oh, look at that one. That's, so that's on school. This is this tile. So that's in the same series here, the legend. That looks beautiful. So you can see why it's my favourite. Yeah. Well, I the can... other good thing, of course, is it gives you the ability to have continuity from your bathroom flowing out mm. into your living areas. Mm. Nice work. I like you? it. I always thought marble was really expensive, and I guess you put this on, it actually looks like marble, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, and that's the, the technology we've got now. It looks more authentic, so you're getting a, a very luxurious look for an affordable price, a lot of variety to it. You don't need a lot of add, need to add a lot of extras yeah. to it. You just let the natural variation do its thing. Oh, there it is there. That's very cool looking. And it's timeless, so you're going to get longevity out of the look. So you've brought some other things in too. Oh, I like that. Uh, oh, I like well, that. I <laughs> be the yeah. Yeah. Too. Yeah. And so you brought some other looks in to share with us. What have you got here? Yeah, so two other big things we're seeing at the moment is a brick look. Okay. So because the technology can produce variation, they can make things look more natural. So pretty much if they can photograph it, they can reproduce it. So That's this cool. is all part of the same tile, so that sort of very aged antique brick log. This is quite lump not lumpy, but it's like not um it's not a smooth surface, is it? No, you've got the, the texture in there, oh, but you've got that. a nice easy care finished product. Gosh, yeah, that looks look, great. Yeah, Very we are 80s. seeing some pictures on screen now. I mean, that yeah, just looks incredible. Like As a designer, Hamish, yes. you know, I guess you can start getting quite creative with the shape of these as well. Well, the, the great thing about it is it's, um, rather than just thinking about tiles for your bathroom, you know, we're thinking about using them in, in walls as feature walls. So mm. you can have them in your lounge, around your fireplace, yeah, that would for look example. Great. Yeah. And, um, you know, even, even in bedrooms. See, I'd even do behind the bed, the whole wall there. Oh, oh nice. look at mm. you. <laughs> I like the tile. I actually really like this look here. And these ones, these ones, oh, uh, these ones here are called, what is it? Encaustic in tiles. Encaustic tiles. So that's sort of... Oh, hang um, on, there they are on screen. Oh, look at that. A very, very old style of tile that they're replicating in a porcelain tile, but it's a finished product. So these... Effectively, a pattern tiles. Right, and they're coming back, are they? They're coming back, and it's fun, and it's funky, and it's interesting. Mm. You can mix, so you can mix a marble and a, and a pattern if you want. It's a bit art deco -y, isn't it, this lot? They, they are. They can go floor, wall. It's quite neat. Mm. I quite like seeing them as kitchen splashbacks. It's something yeah, you see nice. straight away that's, that's fun and interesting. That's a great idea. And you can really get, I guess, idea. a whole lot of different patterns and just create your own big pattern, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, God, I yeah. get quite excited by it. Well, Karen, thank you for bringing all these tiles in. Thank you, Hamish, for yeah. bringing Karen in. I know, I did great. my job. Yeah, yeah. No, you, did, you <laughs> really, did well today. Some really, really great looks there and uh, you, that you shared with us all. And, of course, all available at your local tile depot where luxury is affordable. So head along to check them out in person.